Hi there, this is Joe from Shop2 and this is our Eve Valkyrie for PlayStation VR review. Eve Valkyrie is the first full retail game for PlayStation VR that probably brings the type of experience you'd expect VR to was created for. To become a pilot in the middle of space, dogfights and all. If you've ever imagined what it would be like to fly a spaceship while trying to defend the galaxy, then Eve Valkyrie is probably a good representation, although it's probably wise not to spend too long in the cockpit, especially if you're not used to VR. In Eve Valkyrie you use your head to navigate the game menus as well as enemies during dogfights. Eve Valkyrie really does place a large emphasis on everything the PlayStation VR has to offer, although it does seem to sacrifice any single player content to focus more against playing with others. The multiplayer has to cycle through various game modes such as Team Deathmatch and Control, although the most fun is Carrier Assault, a two part game where as the name suggests you try to take down the enemy's carrier ship. The combat in Eve Valkyrie is a lot of fun. As mentioned, you can use head tracking to take down enemies with the majority of weapons, meaning that as you look around, the gun also follows. You also have access to various missiles, although things do tend to change when you gain access to bigger and better ships. As you get through each game, you'll be ranked up and therefore earn rewards. You also earn cash, allowing you to purchase new skins and chips, each with different stats and different weapon loadouts. Although it's pretty slow to gain new items, even when using the implants option that you can purchase with in-game credits or real cash in order to temporarily boost your XP. It does make you wonder if this grind progression like system is forced to make people part of cash or not. It most likely is. Obviously having a more powerful ship does give you a better advantage, so it's frustrating that you can't seem to get hold of these updates sooner without having to splash out. There is some single player content such as Chronicles where you do have memories of your pilot. There's also co-op against AI and some scouting and survival missions. In the scouting mission you search for salvage and echoes without having to fight against the enemy whereas in survival challenge you have to fight against wave after wave of them. To be honest you'll complete these missions quite quickly and then you'll be back to the grinding of multiplayer in no time at all. On the presentation side Eve Valkyrie looks absolutely stunning when you first step into your ship, you're met with the look and feel of a real cockpit, and as soon as you get into space, it's also real. Surprisingly, despite the fact you'll be flying left, right and upside down, there was a real lack of motion sickness for me here, which was absolutely fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Everything about the graphics, from the dogfights, lasers and explosions, looks very impressive, and even when you're destroyed, the look of your cockpit being covered in ice sends a chill of appreciation down your spine. Eve Valkyrie is a mixed bag in that the single player is a little lacking and it's a bit of a grind to upgrade your ship. However, when it comes to the actual multiplayer space combat, the game is an absolute joy. If you've ever imagined what it would be like to be a space pilot, then look no further because space combat just got real thanks to Eve Valkyrie. This has been Joe from Shop 2. Thanks for joining us for this review. Please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now. Bye.